Hi, this is Sandy Joe, and I would like, or Monkey Mimi from the forums, I would like to um, do some lessons for you guys on some of the WinPC Sign 2010 or the Fun Time or the WinPC Sign programs. This can work with Fairy Cut too, because all the programs are based on the same elements here at the beginning. But I'm going to do some quick tutorials on here and just kind of give you some basics on how to do some different things. Um, I've got CHS fonts on my on my uh, computer here or on my screen, and what I'm going to do is show you how to do some simple outlines. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select my CHS and then I'm going to come down to my lower bar with it has the blue gem on the bottom and I'm going to be filling these with a 10 mil a 10 SS or 3 millimeter stone so I usually go up three sizes which it's really easy to figure out so I go up to a 13 SS stone I click that um, I'm gonna keep my spacing at 0.04 here I'm going to erase the original and I'm gonna do a fill so I'm gonna go ahead and click that fill and I'm gonna click apply and let those stones fill like they just did I'm gonna move this over here just a little bit so we can see both things and um, then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead I've got the 13 still selected here for the 13 SS stone and I'm gonna come through and we're gonna stone this in a simulated stone here so I can kinda see how it's gonna look and then I'll show you how to outline it and it, it goes pretty fast once we get it taken care of so now I have it um, with the red stones ready for assimilation or proof if you want to. You can add your little sparkles to it or put it on a black background or any color that you want to. And then on our upper toolbar up on top, um, when you have your arrow selected, your arrow, your um, lasso tool and your alignment mirror and your other tools are up on top, you grab the little rope up on top, which is the lasso tool. And to do a simple outline, if you have multi lines of stones like this, it's so easy just to come around and you're actually encircling any of the stones that you encircle. Um, will be the ones that will be selected to go ahead and stone into a different color. You can do this on your regular mode of the palette or you can do this on the simulated mode. Either way will work just fine. So I've went ahead and I've selected those and I'm going to take and make those into a clear and you just click the clear. And I'm going to come back and grab my other ones and um, select those and do just this simple outline. Just make sure you complete your circle and all those stones will will be included in that. There's one over here that you can see that shouldn't have been selected so then you just come back and click the red and make it a red one. So um, I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do to stone something and then to come around and make an outline and this is really good for a lot of our school or spirit wear or some of the, the different logos that we have for schools and stuff. So this is the beginning of the videos that I'm going to be doing and if you if you need any help with anything just send me a note of what you'd like to see and this is uh, Monkey Mimi or Sandy Joe at rhinestonetemplates.com I'd love to help you with anything that I can.